What's cooking today? Here we are in the kitchen around Christmas time. Nothing could be more fun than being in the kitchen with the one and only John Rivers. Hey, Barb, so good to see you Thank for you. River Smokehouse and the Coop. And the Coop. And the That's Coop. Right. And all over the Southeast, you guys are growing and God is really blessing your ministry, he right? He really has. Keeps blessing us. We have 15 of them open right now and 16 is on the way up in Atlanta. That's crazy. And keeping us busy. That's, That's good. for sure. And one at FSU. I love that. A campus one, we put right? Our first campus model out this, yeah. this year. We're testing it right now. Go see Seminoles, right? Goes. There that's you right. go. Hopefully that's going to go well. Well, there are all kinds of recipes at Christmas time, and some conjure up memories of yes. days gone by, and yes. that's what this recipe does Absolutely. for you, right? Absolutely. And this one, my mom, you know, she loved to have little parties and stuff, and she was not a grand cook, but little mm -hmm. things that she did, yeah. you know, she did great, and they had so much heart. This is one of the favorites because it was quick, and this really is a holiday little appetizer. Yes. It's a sausage ball. Right. I love it. You know, as simple love as it. can be, and we've spiced it up a little bit and uh -huh. put some other flavors into mm -hmm. it, and, and I'll walk you through how to do it and it's okay. something so easy to make. So we start with just a little bit of a fine cornmeal. Okay, cornmeal is a little bit different from flour. It's made out of corn. It's got a little bit more girt to it uh -huh. and a little bit more teeth. And okay. we're going to put some baking powder in it. And baking powder is what makes um, flour and other products like this rise. Okay. So you put in okay. cookies and pancakes mm -hmm. and things like that. And I like a little bit of brown sugar. Of course. Of course you do. <laughs> yes, just sugar and butter are two of our favorite yeah. things. A little salt and a little pepper. Okay. Okay. Give it and a little... you always seem to use, for some reason, that coarse kind of sea salt, right? I do. You I, like I that? I like that. Okay. I, I do. And it, it's got a little bit more teeth to it, a little mm -hmm. bit um, more flavor, I think. Now, you can buy, uh, this is, we're going to use sage. Now, you smell this. You it's know, nice. Fresh nice. sage, to me, that's just so much Thanksgiving. Uh -huh. you know, when you smell yes. that. And this is what yes. we use in our spices and um, uh, our flavoring on our turkeys, as a matter of fact. We use a different okay. rub on that. Okay. And it, we'll put a little bit of chives. Which See, I, I don't yeah. even know how to do sage. So you're, I'm watching you take the leaves <laughs> off and you don't you do the stem. No. The stem makes it tough. Correct. Okay. And this is what? These are chives. Chives. You know, just a, it's okay. a, you know, a family of the onion. Uh-huh. Okay. So we'll take some of that. We'll go ahead and throw those A little in. bit of this and a little <laughs> bit of that. We don't have a real um, uh, um, measuring... It doesn't matter how much, you <laughs> well, just do a little? A, yeah, and the recipe. They forced me to, to actually write down measurements. Oh, okay. <laughs> and we do like to put our recipes up on our Facebook page. We do. Yes. We do, absolutely. Okay. I'll show you a trick to cutting these. Okay. Okay, you take them all and you stack them. Oh. And you roll them uh -huh. like that. Yes. Okay. And that way, as you're going through. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, because how else would you, I would not have any idea how to chop a leaf. <laughs> It makes, especially when you're doing basil and products like that, mm -hmm. it makes it go by so much faster mm. for you. Oh, I wish our viewers could smell. It mm -hmm. smells so good. It's funny so how fresh. that releases it, isn't mm -hmm. it? All right, so if you go ahead and mix that up. Okay. Okay. I will do that. Blend those. I'll go ahead and start on the sausage. Now, today we're using a spicy sausage, and that's what it has in the recipe. But you don't I'll, have to do that. No, it's, okay. it gets very, very spicy. <laughs> very spicy, <laughs> indeed. And if you want something a little bit more mild, go perhaps a medium or even just a regular breakfast sausage okay. itself. Okay. Okay. We're going to put in some chopped Vidalia onions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give it a little bit more flavor. Mm -hmm. The finer you chop those, the happier my wife will be. Okay. Because she doesn't like big chunks when she bites into things. Well, this is not so finely chopped. It's not so finely chopped. She's not here. <laughs> that's, a, <laughs> that's actually the way I chop. That okay. looks like something I would okay. do. Okay. Ooh, We're and gonna what put is a little this? buttermilk. A little buttermilk. And the buttermilk helps bind it and okay. keep it together. Mm -hmm. Now, could you just do milk if you if you wanted to, or does it have oh, to sure. be buttermilk? Sure, no, okay. it's, it's a little different flavor, that's all. Okay. You know, and it's such it's so little in the recipe, mm -hmm. you know, you don't have to, it's not gonna make that big of a difference okay. if you and, switch it. Oh, and, and I have something really fun to share with you about buttermilk. Um, sometimes you don't wanna buy a, a great big thing of buttermilk to do a little tiny bit of buttermilk. Mm -hmm. Do you know what you can make buttermilk out of? Vinegar. Oh, he knew. He already knew, of course. I'm trying no, to teach a chef it? something. What would it be? Vinegar. It is. Yes, yes. just a couple tablespoons yes. in a little tiny bit of milk, and it turns in, it curdles yeah. and turns into buttermilk. That's right. That's right. I you thought know. I could finally get jobs, but no, not going to happen. Vinegar is a very powerful cooking agent. People don't think of it that way. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you, ever, you ever have ceviche? Ceviche? Mm -hmm. No, uh, I don't know what that is. Okay, it's it, you start with raw seafood. Okay. And you put oh. all kind of things in it, and uh -huh. you actually put uh, lemon juice in it. Okay. And the vinegar and the lemon juice is what actually cooks the shrimp. Oh. And the oh, it's a wonderful, uh, wow. I think, Peruvian dish, if I recall correctly. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course we know about Peruvian dishes. <laughs> all right, so we're going to combine these two now. So I'll Do go you want ahead. this in there or that in here? Oh, it doesn't matter. How okay. about we go this way? All right. You've got a nice clean bowl. Okay. All right, I've got my gloves on so I can mix these up. Okay, and we're gonna have at it. Make sure it's well blended because you want mm -hmm. that cornmeal and that cheese to be in every bite that you have. So it's about a pound of meat. Is that what that is? Uh, 
Oh, yes. Maybe. Yes. Okay. It's around there. It's, you know, I would just use one of those little packages. Okay. You know, that you get and, uh, you know, pick the different flavors. Mm -hmm. you know, they got maple, they have sage. I use oh. a lot of sage around the holidays. Yeah. Because it just has, you know, Well, it makes the house smell good, too, when you start cooking. Oh, yes. Right. Oh, yes. All right. Now, getting it all in there. And if you want to, you can put this in a, uh, a mixing bowl mm -hmm. to do it, and it'll okay. help you get it a little bit more even. But that's that's the trick: is you want that uh, cornmeal to get on sure. everything, because that's also sure. your binder. Mm -hmm. You know, another thing you can do is you can put an egg in here, and that will help hold it together. Okay. All right. So once I have them, now it's just you know how big of a, a sausage ball do you want to have? Mm -hmm. And remember, most of these are appetizers, right? So the little finger foods. Right. You know, a trick too. Um, to oops, to making these is use a little melon ball scooper. Okay. Yeah, and okay. that'll come out nice and even. Uh huh. And you want to pack it tight enough so that it stays together uh -huh. when you cook it. Mm. And we're going to put it on a either a lined or a grease uh, baking sheet. Okay. Okay. And we're going to cook it for about 25 minutes mm -hmm. or so. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we'll cook it at 350 degrees. And we'll promise you your house will smell like Christmas. Okay. Right. Yes. So let's put this one in, okay? And that looks like, remember, they're gonna shrink a little bit. Okay. Now when you cook them, be careful not to overcook them. Uh -huh. Because when you take it out, it's still gonna cook for about five minutes or oh, so. Oh, wow. So you, okay. don't, you don't wanna serve it really so dry. So 20 to 25 minutes is what you're telling us. Yes, All really right. take a look at it. Are we right. ready for the finished product? Okay, yep. All you right. that one in. Through the magic of television, John had already done something wonderful for us, and here we have it. Okay. Yum, they look so good. And you see how much they shrank and yeah, you see they the do. nice little... Uh, they were that big before when you put them in uh, the oven. Probably not quite, not, maybe not quite that big, okay. large. All right, I'm going to put some on here. Okay. Okay. Now another substitute instead of cornmeal, the old recipe that my mom used to use was uh, biscuit. Oh, you know, wow. Which yeah. is primarily cornmeal and flour mix. Uh-huh. Okay, now this one is a spicy yes. version on it. Right. So I like to offset it with a little bit of syrup. Okay. And uh, we did this when well, the first time we made it because they were so spicy. Uh -huh. went, oh my gosh, my mouth was burning. <laughs> so we found it. And I love, you know, just that little sweet tinge on top of it. And this happens to be our syrup that we make. And it's got a little, nice little flavor to it. Okay. You don't have to do this, but... I think uh, if you have a sweet tooth, which if I recall, I have you do. one. Yes, I have maybe about twenty of them. I think I have a lot of sweet teeth. So the we can buy the sauce in your. Oh yes, you can buy this. We uh, we actually make produce this at the coop. Okay, and, very good. Uh, and we bottle it, and it actually is sold throughout the city and a number of different actually throughout the state now. Different people Wonderful. are picking it up. Maple it's bourbon maple syrup. Syrup. And right. it goes on also pancakes and oh, waffles pancakes, and that kind of thing. You know, breakfast casseroles. All right, let's taste. Let's see what okay. it tastes like. All right, is this okay? Oh, I don't yes. think I want a whole one in my. Once I start putting these things in my mouth, I can't talk anymore. <laughs> so let's see what it's like. Mmm, hot. Mm hmm That's delicious. It does not taste like the sausage balls I made. Mm -mm. Um, nothing I ever do tastes like anything that John <laughs> Rivers does. So if you want this recipe, these are absolutely delicious. They have a kick to them. They're sweet. They're yummy. Thank you. You're very, very welcome. Mm, happy makes, holidays. It's happy holidays yes, to you as well. And to all of you viewers, again, the recipe will be on our Facebook and our website. John Rivers from Four Rivers Smokehouse and The Coop. Thanks again for being here with us. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.